there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World. Today we are in St. Petersburg, Russia. And today what we have for you are the five things you're gonna love and hate about visiting St. Petersburg. And a lot of these things will tie into Russia in general, because I kind of want to kind of put those a little bit together, but this is more focused on St. Petersburg. And the first thing you're not gonna like about coming to St. Petersburg and Russia in general is the service. Look, the service here is you need to be proactive. You need to be the one asking for the menu, going to pay your bills, stuff like that. Because service isn't a big thing here in Russia. I cannot lie to you about that. Now the people can be nice, but you'll see that it's more like, can, I, can you help me? Can you help me? And so that can get frustrating. And I know for some tourists, they get really upset with it. Just take it with a grain of salt. Know that they're not singling you out as a tourist. That happens to everybody. So service can be a bit slow and that can be frustrating. And with that service kind of thing that might frustrate you is, one, you do not have a lot of English um, spoken throughout Russia because it's Russia, it's a huge country. So Russian is the main thing. It's like in the US, it's mostly English because it's such a big country. And so make sure you do know a little Russian when you come, at least a few words like, you know, Privyet is hi and Spasiba is thank you. you. Know those things and it will help. But, and your lack of Russian really can be kind of problematic and make it tough for some people. Don't be that way. What I recommend is get one of those Google apps that translates pictures. It'll make your life a lot easier, especially at the restaurants. And also when you go to, when you're walking around here, you'll notice that line culture here in Russia is kind of a free for all. So you gotta be, again, proactive with your line getting in and getting through kind of stuff. So the second thing you're not gonna like about coming to Russia is dealing with all the bureaucracy, especially when it deals with getting your visa, because you're gonna need a visa to come here to Russia, and it takes time. Sometimes it can take up to a month. If you use an agency, which I recommend, you probably can get it done in a few days maybe, but the thing is you need an invitation or a hotel confirmation, You're all this other stuff that goes into it, it's a real pain, and that's one of the things you really won't like, and that's actually probably the biggest reason people don't come to Russia, because it's really a really great place. I hate St. Petersburg here too, but all the stuff that goes into that really can be quite frustrating. And with all that hassle and bureaucracy, realize, make sure you have copies of your passports, your, your migration cards, all this kind of stuff you're gonna need, because you're gonna have to show your ID, you're gonna have to use those things, and the migration card they give you when you come into the country, make sure you save that. I heard some people when we were coming through go, oh, I don't need this, I'm like, what are you doing? They just filled it out, you need it to get out of here. So just know that the bureaucracy and the hassle of the visas really can turn some people off. But don't let it stop you, this is a cool place to visit. Now the third thing you're not gonna like about coming to St. Petersburg is it will cost you some money when you are here for the hotels and to fly here and to get here and stuff like that. And it's not as cheap as you think it's gonna be. Now, because most people think, oh, Russia, it's gonna be dirt cheap, I can pay rubles, it's gonna be nothing. No, prices aren't as cheap as you think they're gonna be and it will cost you a lot to get here with the flights, with the visa, with all that kind of stuff. So that can be one of the things you might not like, but there are deals you can find and a lot of stuff actually has the same kind of price that you would have in a big city in the US. You know, so there is one thing you should think about. Now the fourth thing you're not gonna like about coming to St. Petersburg is the line and the crowds in the Hermitage. Look, the Hermitage you have to see with Raphael's, Da Vinci's. Look, most museums you go to, whether it's the Louvre or something like that, it's mostly independent tourists and occasionally a tour group. Here it's tons of tour groups that just run through things. And the Hermitage is huge. And the thing is you can see Van Dyke's, you can see Rubens, you can see Da Vinci, you can see Raphael, you can see all kinds of amazing art. And then the Royal Apartments over there, it's awesome. And we'll talk about that later. But the thing is those groups and then the lines you just get smashed around and it's so easy to get lost. So if you are going with a group, make sure you have like a meeting point, a time, something like that, because it is really easy to get lost and stuck in there. So do be careful. And the people, man, the service and the line culture here, oh, you might get an elbow here or there, so do just be careful with that. And the fifth thing you might not like about St. Petersburg is some of the little safety issues that are out here. One thing is you gotta be careful when you're crossing the streets, okay? The, co the, not the, cops. <laughs> the people don't always stop for you when you're in the crosswalks and stuff like that, so you do wanna be careful. Um, another thing you wanna look at is there are a lot of pickpockets at Hermitage and other places, so do keep your eyes open if you're in. You know, even the, the, the church that spilled blood and things like that, they are working, so you do want to watch out. And yes, there still are the people that tried to rip off tourists and stuff, so do have a heads up for that one. Um, also, late night, do be careful if you're going to go out drinking and stuff like that. I've known a lot of tourists, or a number of tourists, that have had some incidents with alcohol, so you do want to be careful with that. I know I've been shook down by the police when I was here in St. Petersburg years ago. It has gotten better, but you do want to take care of that. But those are five little things you might not like. This city is awesome, and we're going to let Jocelyn start with the loves of this cool city. And now for things you're gonna love about St. Petersburg and Russia. 
first, for me, it's the Orthodox churches. They're incredible icons and the mosaics. The, the Kazan here has some really beautiful paintings and things inside. And then um, the Savior on the Spilled Blood is incredible. The mosaics are like world class, just really beautiful, beautiful places. So definitely love number one for me are these gorgeous Orthodox churches. So number two um, of our loves are the art, the architecture, and the museums here. You can see behind me the Singer Building, and God, is that some great architecture or what? But there are great museums. The Hermitage, together with um, the Winter Palace, has unbelievable stuff. Tons of Rubens and some Rembrandts, and um, there's just there's so much in there to see and to enjoy. You really have to get there. To see Russian art, there is the Russian Museum, and it is absolutely loaded, and that's something not to miss also. So you'll also see things like um, the Peter and Paul Cathedral, the Admiralty, and you know, there's just, everywhere you look in St. Petersburg especially, there's exceptional architecture, even in the rain. And Jocelyn's right, there is a lot to love here in St. Petersburg. Whether you're going up to St. Isaac's and going to walk around there, going to the Amiral or Admiralty, going to see the Bronze Horsemen, there's so many cool things to see here in St. Petersburg that you're going to go around with the churches, museums, palaces, all kinds of cool stuff. And what's cool about it is you have a really good public transportation network that you can use with buses and the metro. The metro is kind of cool, kind of hard sometimes to find the stops, but they are there and they're big stations going all over the place clean as well and that's one of the cool things about st petersburg in general is it's really a clean city for being so big i mean it's like four or five million people and it's actually clean especially where you're going to be as a tourist and that's what's really cool about it all and the thing is you're going to have quite the uh experience when you're on the public transportation whether it's the buses or the metros it's one of the things i really kind of enjoy about being here so that's something you're really going to love the fourth thing you're going to love about actually coming here to st petersburg is hey remember those visas and all that stuff i was talking about you don't have to worry about that so much here because you can actually get up to 72 hours visa-free stay here in St. Petersburg. If you take a Peter Line tour or cruise from Helsinki here, uh, we actually started in Stockholm, went through Helsinki, then to here, and you get one night or one full day, two full days and one night here, or two nights here, and you can do it without the visa stuff, but the limit is at 72 hours. Anything over that, you're gonna be in trouble, okay? And I think I'll give you the fifth thing you're gonna love is when the people open up to you. Here in St. Petersburg, and in Russia in general, you do see really, you know, the service isn't there, but that doesn't mean that people aren't warm. They're just kind of reserved. But once you get them to open up, the Russian people are so much fun. They will take care of you. Remember I've said in many videos how the babushkas gave me so many cabbage rolls that it helped me grow an extra chin. Um, but it is really cool. And that's why we really did enjoy St. Petersburg. We do recommend it. One of the downfalls of that 72 hour you know, stay I was talking about is that you don't get enough time to see it all. The city is so huge with so many museums, so many sites. You can't see it all in a couple days or three days or something like that. So go explore more. Love it because it is a fantastic city. And we hope you do come visit Russia. It is great. Anyway, if you want to learn more, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We put new videos out every Wednesday and Saturday. And uh, do follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all those things. And have a great time here in Russia. Bye. So those are our five love and hate, and I hope you've enjoyed them. If you have, subscribe, hit like, all those good things, and we'll see you again. Bye from St. Petersburg.